Hello and thank you for visiting. My name is Finton. I work in healthcare and I believe in letting nature take care of us. So in this short video I'm going to talk about serapeptase and what the serapeptase work for. Serapeptase is an enzyme produced by isolating the bacteria in the humble silkworm. It's been used throughout the world for a long time as a natural anti-inflammatory and pain reliever, especially after a surgery or a trauma. Health professionals have found success with serapeptase for several common health conditions. It has been put to good use for more than 30 years in Japan, Europe and the USA, with a range of alleged health benefits. So discover how serapeptase can help you and your family in a natural way with many conditions caused by inflammation. Just listen to this video on what does serapeptase work for. But what is it exactly? It's also known as serati peptidase. It's a proteolytic enzyme. That means it can break down proteins into much smaller parts called amino acids. There are other proteolytic enzymes, for example, like bromelain and natokinase and trypsin. They have been used mostly in the USA since the 1950s after it was discovered their anti-inflammatory properties. Researchers in Europe and Japan were convinced that proteolytic enzymes were a real effective alternative in reducing inflammation. Since then, serapeptase has been found to have many more beneficial health benefits for conditions like carpal tunnel, arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, different types of arthritis, swollen knee, hip bursitis, shoulder bursitis, fibromyalgia, blood clots and many other conditions. It's a proteolytic enzyme means it can break down or dissolve blood clots, fibrin or plaque. Amazingly, serapeptase has, has shown in small amounts of studies to be able to do this without causing any harm to the arteries. Atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries has a major impact on your risk of heart disease or stroke. Serapeptase breaks down the plaque buildup and has the effect of reducing the risk of a heart attack or stroke. If serapeptase can dissolve blood clots, it must also be able to dissolve scars, fluid buildup, mucus buildup and cysts. This makes serapeptase an attractive alternative for damaged skin following an operation or accident, sinus headache, carpal tunnel syndrome, swelling of any kind and any form of lung disease. Serapeptase is particularly helpful with inflammation, swelling and pain. In one study, it was called a super enzyme with a huge list of health benefits, including being just as effective as a diphtheric gel used for inflammation. NSAIDs are common medicines prescribed by doctors worldwide. NSAIDs drugs block the coax enzyme, helping to reduce the prostaglandins in the body. However, it leads to inflammation and pain. It's well documented that NSAIDs have side effects. For example, they may cause stomach ulcers and bleeding. Other side effects reported high blood pressure, kidney failure, osteoporosis and myopathy. Many dietary supplements have been touted as having natural anti-inflammatory properties. Supplements like serapeptase, turmeric and devil's claw. Even though they are limited clinical trials to look at many people across the world use supplements every day for the natural relief of inflammation and pain. Even though the evidence is anecdotal, it doesn't mean the serapeptase should not be used for inflammation and pain. In Canada, it has been passed as a natural product, meaning it's safe to take. And according to one serapeptase study, uh, it could indirectly help with inflammation resolution. It's been associated with the inhibition of pain-inducing amines known as bradykin. It's thought that serapeptase can be equally as effective as aspirin without the long-term side effects. So what else does serapeptase work for? It's useful for other painful conditions, including osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, back pain, sinusitis, fibromyalgia, migraine, carpal tunnel syndrome, and other conditions. It's also very useful for pain and swelling conditions like laryngitis, sinus pressure and headache, ear infections, post-surgery scarring, blood clots, Crohn's disease and fibromyalgia. 
Women with fibrocystic breast disease have reported finding relief from the symptoms and nursing mothers have reported improvements in breast engorgement, that is too much milk, after taking serapeptase. It may also be used for atherosclerosis, but the evidence that it works to remove plaque buildup in the arteries are thin on the ground. Natokinase is a better and more effective option for reducing plaque buildup and there are some studies to show that it works well for reducing blood pressure. Serapeptase dosage. When taking serapeptase, please make sure you are buying the entry coated version because any other version may dissolve in your stomach acid before it reaches the intestines where it will be absorbed. In serapeptase studies, typically the doses range from 10 mg to 60 mg daily. Enzymatic activity is measured in units. 10 mg is equal to 20,000 units of enzymatic activity. So for severe swelling and pain, start on 2 by 250,000 IU serapeptase per day. Take it on an empty stomach one hour before a meal. Similarly, leave one hour after taking it before you eat. After the first two weeks, you should notice a reduction in pain and swelling. Stay on the tablets two per day until the pain is gone altogether. It's recommended to stay on a maintenance dose of one tablet per day after that. What are the side effects of serapeptase? Just like any other supplement or medication, each person is unique, so the side effects will vary from person to person. Some may not have any side effects, while others will report the opposite. These are the reported side effects. Upset stomach, cramps, nausea and skin reaction. So if you need any further advice on serapeptase, please contact me on my website. Thank you very much.